For all my brothers out there still doing cold approach pickup, first of all, I admire you. It takes confidence, it takes balls, it leads to personal growth, and I still think it is the purest form of game in existence. And whenever you're doing cold approach, or even not cold approach, meeting women through friends, any type of you're taking somebody's contact information, even men, but especially women, this is a dating channel, always go for a social media close and not a phone number close, and here is why. Your online presence, the value and the status that you have in your online presence will fuel and multiply and create a synergistic relationship with the value and perceived uh, like confidence you had with your in-person presence, and here's why. Let me make an analogy for you, okay? So let's say that you and I are at the SLS Beverly Hills in LA, right? And we're talking loudly about you and I are building some project together. It is a Python-based web scraper. Actually, there's a real tool that I'm working on. And uh, some guy kind of butts in our conversation, say we're talking loudly. He's like, hey guys, you know, sorry to interrupt, but I heard you're building this web app that uses Python. I'm actually a world-class, you know, Python developer. My name is John, nice to meet you. Here's my card. If I can do anything for you, just call me. And we're like, okay, cool. Thanks, John, you know, <laughs> thanks buddy. Uh, yeah, we'll take your card, cool. And then John leaves, we get back to talking about our project. And then I come home and I'm like, who is this guy, John? I'm like, I'm looking at my, my counter. I have this business card lying around. Who, who was that guy, John? He just came in real quick, introduced himself. You know, who, who, who was that guy even? And I pick up his business card. I go to his LinkedIn or whatever it is, his, his Instagram. And it says, former lead developer, uh, you know, head manager of product development at Microsoft. Former software team leader at Google. Uh, worked at OpenAI, head of blah, 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 X, Y, Z. I'm like, holy shit, that was John? Like that, that guy that you know tapped me on the shoulder real quick, gave me his business card, said, hey, if you, if you need anything with Python, I'm your guy, handed me a business card real quick, maybe made an okay impression, maybe he spoke well, he didn't stutter his words, he didn't seem nervous, he seemed confident when he introduced himself, and he maybe left an okay impression, but I don't know anything about John, he could just recognize me from the internet, he could just be you know, some thirsty guy, maybe he's desperate for a job, maybe that's why he better did. I don't know, John from Peter, right? But now I see his LinkedIn, it's like, holy shit, this super, super impressive resume, he's all over LinkedIn, he has testimonials from Bill Gates and Alex Hermosi, I don't know, but it's a super impressive social media presence. Now I'm like, holy shit, I better contact John. As it works in, let's say, sometimes a night game or day game situation, listen, ideal thing, you find like a tourist walking around the city, she's kind of like, oh, like this, she has all the time in the world, you can cold approach her in the day, you're free, you got all the time, she's free, she's got all the time, you can instant date her, and bada bing, bada boom, uh, you create your own little romance novel of how you swept her off her feet, took her for a coffee, and you had all afternoon to flirt with her. That is not the case in most cases in day game. And actually, quick aside, quick tip for day game. When you wanna do day game, hit food courts, shopping malls, and these like little uh, food like districts, like these certain streets, like there's a street Sawtell in, in Los Angeles with like all these um, restaurants near a business district. Hit those at lunchtime. All the girls from the office buildings swarm out and you can do like, you know, a bajillion, you know, approaches right there at lunch hour. Uh, metro stations, and there's certain places that you can go where uh, you can get a lot of volume in. And, like I said, maybe a girl is going to meet her friends for lunch. Maybe she, like I said, the metro example, maybe she's got it, you know, she's leaving one metro. Get girls that are leaving the metro, not going on to it. This is like, you know, for, you know, other countries. People don't usually use like the metro in Los Angeles. Actually, maybe in uh, New York they do, and actually possibly in, in, in London and other places there, there's metro. But anyway, when you find this high traffic area, or just for any reason, like, the girl may not have time to go on an date with you. You approach a girl at a nightclub and she's like on her way back to her VIP table. You don't have all this time to convey your whole charming personality with her. She may have to get back to her table, but you approach with confidence. Like you do have to make a good first impression. Just having like, you know, a horrible uh, first approach with a great social media isn't gonna change a whole lot for you. But like there, there's been times like approach a girl and she's like, hey, nice to meet you. Uh, yeah, I gotta go. I'm like, hey, where were you going? She's like, no, my, my Uber's here, but um, you know, thanks. You know, what's your name? I'm like, oh, it, it, it's Casey. Hey, let me just get your Instagram account. She's like, oh, okay, okay, here, here's my Instagram. Okay, thanks, gotta go, bye. And sure, I approach with confidence. I spoke nice and slowly. I don't speak like I do on these videos where I'm talking really, really fast, trying to get all the content out as quickly as I can. I slow it down, I make good eye. Hey, excuse me, uh, very random, but I saw you walking by here. Uh, do you speak English? Oh, no, you don't? It's okay, nobody's perfect. Anyway, I'm Casey, nice to meet you, blah, blah. And I you know, start flirting with her, and then sometimes they gotta go, they gotta bail out. And then sometimes, even your boy, like the talking head guy who's you know friends with, 
RSD Tyler and Fresh and Fit and those all the people in the industry, even the talking head guru guy who's supposed to be infallible here on YouTube, aka me, even I fuck it up sometimes. I get a little nervous. I kind of like, oh, I, may, I may qualify myself sometimes. I may have poor eye contact. I may be sloping up tonality. Oh, really? Oh, you do speak English. Uh, that's so cool. Uh, even I do that. Even I do that sometimes. And even my, you know, less, let's say I do a six out of 10 approach. First of all, I may be her type physically. Other factors could help me. And I've had many, many girls add me on Instagram from like a, a quick day game close and they're like, bro, like, who are you? I'm like, what do you mean? I, I told you my, my name's Casey, you know, um, been living, you know, traveling to Latin America. I'm here in Brazil now. Like, what, what, what do you mean? No, I mean like you're on podcast, you're speaking on stage in front of people, you got dope shit going on, you're always traveling, you got these nice dinners, there's some beautiful girls in the photos too, like are you dating those girls? Because like I see them at the table but you're not like touching them, like who, like who are you? Like you have this incredible like social media presence, like who, who, is, who are you? I'm like, baby, like come out, take you to a nice rooftop lounge, we'll chat, you'll get to know me. And you would not believe how often a baller social media profile can make a very average to mediocre approach or a great approach that had a small time constraint magnify and explode your value. So this is why you should always be doing an Instagram close over a number close, but your social media has to be on par. And I'm actually the, the coach now. I have a, a joint venture. I'm business partners now with a Fresh and Fit inside of the Castle Club Premium uh, members area where I teach dating inside there. We do a, a coaching call once a week. I break down guys' Instagrams and for the most part, they are pretty atrocious. I, I, I sometimes, I have the curse of knowledge. I've done this for so long and I know what looks good and I'm looking at other guys and I'm like, uh, yeah, like, can't believe you thought um, posting a picture of you and your pet tarantula, <laughs> you know, would be a good thing or, you know, weird stuff like you wearing sweatpants, like hanging off the back of an ice cream, ice cream truck. Like, bro, like I see like the weirdest stuff. And a lot of you guys think you have an okay Instagram. I get on, you know, these, these calls sometimes and people think they have a good one, but they don't. And actually I'll do this for uh, a little bit longer. Go to my Instagram, redbeardrants1. There'll be a link in the description of the video. Click that link in the description and message me the word audit and I will give you an Instagram audit absolutely free. And then from there, you know, okay, do I need more group shots? What am I missing? Which photos are controversial? What photos do I look like shit in? What photos should I archive? Where can I go to get better photos? How can I dress? How can I pose? How can we edit our photos? Use light touch-ups like FaceApp, increase our jawline a little bit and you know, enhance our muscles a little bit. I've done a lot of other videos where I talk about this. So go to my Instagram, RedbeardRants1, link in description and message me the word audit to get that free audit. Also, if this has hit you for the first time and you're not subscribing, click subscribe to the video. That really boosts this stuff out. Also like the video and comment, do some stuff for the algorithm if you are already a subscriber. And thanks a lot for watching guys. Peace.